How to use V tutorial for beginners. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be talking about our beginner's tutorial on how to use V. V is a powerful online editing and processing platform that allows you to transform and enhance your videos with ease. So whether you're a content creator, social media enthusiast, or just someone looking to add a professional touch to your videos, Veed has all the tools you need to create stunning visual content. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the basic features and functionalities of Veed and show you how to navigate the platform to edit and enhance your videos. We'll cover topics such as uploading your videos, trimming and cropping, adding text and captions, applying filters and effects, and exporting your final masterpiece. So let's get started. Now to be able to access V, you're going to have to go to V.io. That is their URL and you will be able to find yourself in this page over here. You can simply try it for free by clicking this button over here. Now before we proceed, let's check out the different pricing and plans available in V. Now we have four different plans over here. Now the first one is of course the free version, which is a version or a plan wherein you will be able to create videos under 10 minutes absolutely for free and you will be able to have a watermark on your videos but it is unlimited 720p export and for the pro version you have here which is $24 per month you will remove your watermark and have a lot of extra features as you can see here for the business you have $59 per month as you can see here also these are the different features that is available and the enterprise version which is $100 per month over here and you can see all of these options over here now let's go back to our home page over here and let's check out the free version of Veed. So we're simply going to click on start for free and we will be redirected to the editing page or the workplace of Veed wherein we will be able to edit our different videos. And as you can see here, this is our block project right now. You can also use the template if you would like. We have this section over here wherein you will be able to upload your files, the different videos that you are trying to edit. You can simply upload them over here by clicking it or drag and dropping a file over here. You can also start with a black canvas, record, use brand fit, dropbox, or use a link. For now, we're going to try and use a stock video if it will allow us. Let's see if it will allow us to use a stock video. And we will demonstrate on how you will be able to use feed. And as you can see, we were able to use the stock video. So let's get started. Now over right here on the left side, you can edit the size of your video over here you could change its aspect ratio as you can see here you can change it to youtube which is 16 by 9 youtube short which is 9 by 16 tiktok similarly instagram post instagram story and instagram reel over here and all of these different options that is available in the section so depending on what the video is for you can simply choose a specific aspect ratio over here and you will be able to have the aspect ratio that you are trying to create now we're going to stick with the 16 by 9 for now. You can also edit the background if you would like. You can change it from black to all of these different colors available here. Or if you already have a code, you can simply type it in this section. You can also add an image if you would like. You can select the image option over here and simply upload the image that you would like to use. Now right now it's not going to appear, but if we move this just like that, we have our background as black, remember? And you can see, we could change the background color to different Color. as you can see here on our background it's changing and we can do the same thing with image click on image and simply upload it over here and for example we're going to have this image let's simply wait for it to load i don't think it's uploading properly it's having an issue so we're going to move on from now and you also have your audio over here which would remove background noises right now that's on premium version so you wouldn't be able to use this if you're sticking with the free version over here there's also duration, which is automatic or fixed over here. You could have a fixed version wherein it won't exceed that specific length that you have assigned. And as you can see, the photo of our dog over here has just been uploaded. So you can check out our background over here. That is how you will be able to add a background with Veed. You could also select a specific media and this will appear. As you can see, you could add animation. You could have round corners for this specific video. And as you can see, there's round corners over here. You could adjust them if you would like in this section. You could increase or decrease the opacity of the video just like this. You could uh, edit the rotation, the alignment, all of those information. You could also adjust the speed of the video over here. You could remove the background or the background of the video. If you have a video of a person, you could use this. 
you could also have the green screen option over here which would allow you to have a screen green screen background and edit the background of the video it also has your audio over here your fade in fade out you could remove silences if you would like like dead airs and all of those information you could edit the duration the media over here and this is our media over here by the way you could split this if you would like for example you could move the arrow over here this is our arrow and if you click on split you will be able to split our two media over here into different videos and you can simply adjust them if you would like by doing this you could shorten this one then you could attach this one stuff like that you could rearrange them also if you want you could also download the section if you would like if you would like to download a specific section only you could also play the video and see how your video is going on as you can see here and there's also your zoom in zoom out option over here and show sound wave on timeline option over here you could also click on audio wherein you will be able to add an audio or like a background music if you would like have a voiceover text to speech or you could use this different stock music available in this section you also have your subtitles where you will be able to add them because we won't be able to add them right now because we don't have any audio on our video over here there's no one talking so it's not it's not really going to work so we can't really add an auto subtitle but you could add manual subtitle if you would like or you could upload a subtitle file over here you could add your text over here by clicking this you can simply click on the heading title for example and it will be added on your page as you can see here this is our heading and you can simply edit the content over here on the left side by editing it over here you could edit the uh, font style, the font size, and all of this information over here, like animation and effect. You could also delete it by clicking this delete option over here. Now looking here on the bottom, you could extend the duration of the specific heading or shorten it depending on how long you would like this text to remain on your video. And you could also check out your elements right here. You click on the elements and you could add this different elements available here like sound waves emoji and shapes over here you can also see some progress bar animated stickers and all of these elements that you are seeing right now you can also check out your templates over here you could see different templates available in the internet you have your for you podcast that you could use mockups if you would like sales marketing internal comms hiring and onboard e-learning and all of this different templates available over here you can simply use one and then you could edit it depending on how you would like your design to be and then you can also record it over here like record a camera if you would like to record to a camera and like add it to your video directly you could record an audio record your screen screen and camera slides and camera and slides over here depending on how you would like to use read over here you could also go back to your settings you could do your vision version history over here if you would like now after editing your project you can also edit your name over here like the project name for example we're going to name it testing and now our project name would be named testing just like this and then if you ever make a mistake you can simply click on this button over here which would undo anything you have you have done before and to be able to download or export your video you can simply have to log in or sign up over here but right now we haven't signed up or logged in so we won't be able to download this video but you will have to click on done over here and it will allow you to download the video that you have created now keep in mind if you're using the free version you will be able to only create a video that is under 10 minutes or within 10 minutes if it's over that it won't allow you to export it and it would request you to cut your video or recreate it once again and if you would like to add another media of course in your video for example we're going to add a media in between these two clips over here you can simply add media over here click this button add media and you could add more media into or bit in between that specific clip that we have now it doesn't mean that you would need to put it in the middle you can simply also drag it into the end and you could add it in that section as well and that's it guys that's how you could use V to edit your videos hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching